Hi friends, this is Carmen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have got a quick repotting for you. This philodendron micans that is growing, growing, growing needs a little bit bigger pot because I want to do two things for it. I want to put it in this um, planter here. I think I'm going to paint the bottom of this too. And it needs, since you can see that it's growing so much, it needs a new trellis. So I'm going to show you what I've got and what I'm going to do for it. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay, so I have had this philodendron micans in this little four inch pot. This is from um, Urban Jungle. And when I got to my mom's house in February, it was about to here, okay? So it was about maybe a foot. And look at how much it has grown. Really, really loved the uh, east-facing window that it was in. So I have it in an east-facing window here also, but it has two bamboo sticks here that I have it uh, growing on and I think that it's time that I upgrade it because it's just dangling over you see that so I need to do something with it and the beautiful people over at tree leaf contacted me and um, wanted to send me some of their things some of their trellises to try out I gladly said yes because I have seen them before um, Jocelyn, I think my plenty friend Jocelyn, I think believe she has them also and she, I know she loves them. So they sent me a um, three pack bundle and this is the one that I am going to use for this particular plant. This is the, uh, and I don't have my glasses on, Anthrula. <laughs> and it, it's an anthurium leaf basically. These are all laser cut, and the one thing that I really love about them is that they are dipped in a latex, so when you put them in the pot and you water the pot, that water will not destroy the wood like it does with the bamboo sticks. You know that's one of the things that is a downside or a con of the bamboo sticks is that when you put them in there and you water them, over a period of time, a year or two, they rot because of the water damage. Well, these, they've taken um, that problem away by dipping it into a latex in that way. You don't have that issue with the wood rotting, but it's, it's beautifully done. They have different sizes, and I'll show you where I've put my other ones in, in just a little bit once we finish here. So I've got a couple of angles here for you so you can see what I'm doing. And I think first thing we need to do is try and get this pot out. You can see how top heavy this is compared to this little four inch one. Now, the problem that I was facing is that I purchased this um, planter, um, I think it's from Kohl's, Kohl's clearance and it's beautiful. It's like a bamboo and a woven uh, type of material here. I'm not sure what it is, but it does have plastic inside. But the edge, the opening of it fits only certain sizes, like a five inch or something. So I found this, this is actually a liner that I had. And it just so happens that when you put it right in there, it fits perfectly. So I poked a couple of holes in the bottom with uh, my scissors and it's the perfect size to upgrade, whoop, to upgrade it to. Um, and I think that's gonna work. I think it's gonna look lovely in there. So let me just put some down at the bottom here. That should be enough. And I'm going to untie and pull these out. Ah! 
and you can see here what I was talking about. It's already starting to rot. Not to mention, you know, they don't look as nice <laughs> as the other trellises. Get this one off here. You see, this one too. Well, see, so if that's breaking off already there. As much as bamboo sticks are economical to use and um, readily available, this is the problem you face with them after watering them. This has probably been in, in with this plant, I would say, 18 months or so. So, set those aside. And save that. <laughs> Remember I mentioned to you that my mom loves to use eggshells. So now all the plants that I come across that I brought with me have these eggshells in them. <laughs> they make me think of her. I miss her. Okay. Oh, man down. Okay, let's see. I don't see anything coming out the bottom. Give it a little snug squeeze. Mix in some of those shells in there. Snugly add more. This is um this soil here is some soil that I had left over from um oh what was the name of it? I'll put it up on the screen here. I can, my brain, my fibro fog is acting up today, so I cannot remember, but I will put it on the screen. It in there nice and snug. Now, so judging from this, it's going to stick out a little bit because this is about six, seven inches long and this is about four inches deep. So it's going to stick out a little bit. I don't want to put it too far back to the edge. I want to put it as close as possible very slowly and I can feel its hit bottom so now what I can do I have it looks like two very long stems here and I'm going to try to get them as best I can separated because there are some openings here that I want to try and get it through. some shorter ones that are trailing down and I think what I may do because this will be up above oh it's about two feet what I may do I need to put a little rock right here to hold that Okay. So part of it is dangling down, and if I ever want to move that up, I can. And the rest is up here. Okay. okay, so here it is. 
This is in my dining room. Sorry for the backlighting there. And I think this Mikan's is going to be very happy here. I wasn't able to keep the little pot up on the rim. It was too delicate and it kept dipping down. So I just let it go all the way down. And it still looks good. So I still love the pot. And I love, love the trellis. Thank you so much, Tree Leaf, for sending these out to me. And they have been so kind as to offer a 10% discount to uh, my viewers. So I will leave a link below in the description box where you can go onto their shop and use the code CARMEN10 for 10% off anything in their shop. I love these. I am definitely going to look at getting some more for maybe those over there. So let me show you also the other ones in my bedroom and how they look. friends hope you enjoyed this video and my very quick repotting my philodendron micans into its new little pot new little planter and its new tree leaf trellis and it, i think it's going to do wonderful there the other plants also so remember you can go onto tree leaf website i'll leave the link down below and use carmen code Car use the code CARMEN10 for your 10% off of anything in their shop. If you enjoy this video, friends, you want to see more like it, please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos, okay? I'll see you in the next one. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye now. Mm -hmm.